A photograph is a story shown in one image. In these days when we all can take pictures with mobile devices, the eye of a photographer is still relevant because he becomes expert to capture emotions, situations, compose and structure a moment to portray it in one image. Eduardo Peterson has been one of those island men that mastered this profession, even though in his youth he wanted to be a boxer. Little by little he discovered his passion for this art. Well, Eduardo, um, as a photographer, he was an autodidactic photographer. He started to do photography from very young. Um, when I knew him, I knew him as a photographer. And one of the things that I'm um, from Eduardo is that he used to take a photo of anything, absolutely, even a cockroach. He loved photography so much that he would snap even a cockroach. Okay, and I'm not, I'm not joking. He would literally snap a cockroach, he would snap a fly. He would see a fly pitch on something and he would get so near and snap that photo. And one of his um, favorite um, photo shot was um, sunsets. Sunsets or sunrise. But he, he, loves, he, he used to wake up every morning, four o'clock, and go out by the beach to get um, sunset. And when sun is going down, he will go around the rock, around what you call Cabana Saltamar, high rock, and he will snap the, the, when the sun is going down. And he, uh, Eduardo, as photographer, he did, uh, he did some exposition as photographer. He did expositions in Providence, he did exposition here in San Andres, with the, Cama, with the Café La Cultu, with the um, Banco de la Republica. Um, his photo was used by a lot of um, magazines, Welcome magazine, um, Fronteras Azules. He did exposition photography, exposition also in Belize, in Belize, um, and so forth. Um, he has boxes of photos here. One of the things that I would like to do is rescue his pictures get them up, have, uh, get them well organized up and, and um, make a, like a page where his photo they are and that people can go in and see his photos and so forth. That is one of my biggest dreams. A man that loved nature, growing fruit trees, herbs and anything that could grow in his yard. He was passionate about the defense of the Rizal cause, being a strong voice in his community. He also loved to sculpt things out of wood, which made him also an artist in this plastic arts field. Well, I, he was always pendant to um, do special snaps on the, on the, on the marches. The Emancipation Week also, he would never miss Emancipation Week because he, he have all the record of all the Emancipation Weeks that we, what, that we have. And one of his, his hobby also was snapping his wife. <laughs> snapping me, he used to flood his, um, his um, Facebook page with my pictures. And um, he was very amazed whenever I got uh, get dressed on Sunday to go to church, he was right there penning, wait baby, wait, wait baby, wait. And pa, 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 and he would make the shot. And, and when church over, he was also, was also all the way pent down in church. Wait the baby, wait the. Sometimes maybe I just do a, a strange move and he say, don't move. No move. No move, baby. That was a nice picture. Ooh, ooh, and him, bam. And that guy up on Facebook, you understand me? So um, it was amazing. It was very, very amazing. There's a lot we could say about Eduardo Peterson. Now that his soul rests in peace, his legacy will remain among all the people who knew him and those who will see his pictures that will endure in time.